I'm Jimmy Musto. The piece you just heard was the Maple Leaf Rag from 1899, written by Scott Joplin. It was the first piece of published ragtime music to become a national sensation. It was a hit with the kids. It was published in Sedalia, Missouri. Joplin attended the George R. Smith College in Sedalia. The college was designed for the educational advancement of black people. It was an historic black college. It was called ragtime because the syncopated rhythms were so unsettling to Western European ears that the music was considered to have a ragged effect because of it. This music is not jazz. This is a new stylized form of written music that was part indigenous African music and part European marching band music. George Gershwin, Leonard Bernstein, William Grant Still, Florence Price, Aaron Copeland are just a few American composers that were influenced by this music. The arrangement I did of Maple Leaf Rag is one you would have heard from about 1910 to 1925. The xylophone and marimba had a heyday during that period. The use of the string bass is a syncretic gesture to Western European music. The drum set was brand new at that time. It's the first time anybody played more than one drum at a time. And this was all because of Scott Joplin's innovation of ragtime. Scott Joplin died financially destitute in a mental asylum in New York City. The year was 1917. He was about 40 years old. He's buried in a common grave in Queens, New York. His extraordinary influence on music is felt around the world today, and I'm sure it will be for generations to come.